welcome back my friends to another update for the touchscreen mini panel TMP as before if you are brand new to this do-it-yourself project this video probably isn't going to make much sense please refer to the past videos for the necessary background we'll be introducing a new kit on the block with this release however the main changes in this update has actually been made available last December so let's go right into or rather go back into that first what has changed is the way we access the TMP pages since the very beginning we relied on a row of menu buttons to open the available pages now we have done away with these buttons a pop-up menu is used for us to choose the site to open a page the benefit of getting rid of the menu button is freeing up some screen real estate for showing useful contents instead. And this is what we have gained by reclaiming the area at the top. But there's more to the makeover. Now, unlike before, the left and right pane have the same size. Before, the left was designed to be a little larger in order to accommodate some pages that require more space. Now, after dividing the 7 inch into two halves, each pane actually still ends up with as much real estate as the larger pane that we used to have. Having the left and right side on equal footing, it allows the system to open any page on either side, giving us a lot more flexibility. But the not so secret reason for making this improvement was not what I have just described. The incentive for implementing that is to create a foundation to support the next big step for the mini panel. That step being the big 10.1 inch version of the Nexion touchscreen. In the rest of this video, we'll go through the differences between the two models so you can decide for yourself whether it's worth doing the upgrade. Let's do another comparison, this time with the 10 inch display. For this layout, we're keeping the same basic functionalities of the TMP with pretty much the same page contents. But the extra area has allowed us to display a third pane on the screen. The layout includes a left and right panes work just like the existing 7-inch design. But at the top division, we have a dedicated situation pane. The numbers here show the screen real estate has actually more than doubled. Of course, the larger screen comes with a higher price tag. So this is how it operates. The dedicated pane has replaced both the half and the full size versions of the situation page from the 7 inch. Instead of having a full screen situation page, the 10 inch has a full times situation pane. And on the lower section, you can open any page onto either side, again using the pop-up menu. Everything is almost the same as the 7 inch model, but rearranged except each pane has become 40% more spacious. As a result, the screen objects appear larger in size, making them easier to read and touch. As I have just mentioned, the lower section works the same as in the older model, except there is no more or no need for full screen pages. Since we have gained a full time situation pane, which has carried over about 90% of what the full screen situation page had before, then what's missing? I don't know if you have noticed that the approach wheel seen back here in the 7 inch model is nowhere to be found in the dedicated situation pane. There's no more room for it. If you want to use the approach wheel, you will find it in a separate navigation page that you can open on a lower pane. It serves the same purpose, but on the 10 inch you can have two view, left or right, not simultaneously. The waypoint nav operations from the right side navigation page always link to the active waypoint on the right. And vice versa. So you get the same operations on two panes. In the same fashion, the full size MCP page for the Boeing 737 is also gone. The function can be replaced by opening both the MCP and the ND pages at the same time, which also leaves you the new situation pane on top. So anyway, you look at it, you have gained a third pane, 
That's how the TMP is utilizing the additional screen real estate. To wrap things up, I think by now you have an idea of what the 10-inch display upgrade is about. And what about the hardware changes? Well, the only change is the Nexion touchscreen unit itself. The ESP32 S3 and the rotary encoders remain the same. The 10-inch screen draw a bit more power and take up more room. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison between the two models. So, how do you like this encroacher for the new 10-inch panel? My thanks goes to a longtime viewer and TMP builder, Steve, who has designed this great-looking and very functional 3D printed case for me. With the screen keep getting larger, I think we have to start calling the TMP the touchscreen multi-panel. One more thing. The code for the Nexion displays is of course different between the 7 and the 10 inch models. However, a single firmware binary will work on both models. If you are interested in building your own TMP, you will find the zip file package with documentation and the firmware from the usual location. Thank you for watching. Be seeing you.